Yeah, we oh, all God. need some cooling off, especially yeah. those folks out west. Yeah. Yet again, they're getting triple digit heat. Oh yeah, I think Death Valley hit 130, which is a new record. Wow. The hottest they've ever hit was 134. You're not far from that. Wow. I, that's just hard to imagine mm. here. Uh, but we've been dealing with some cooler weather, yeah. Alina, today. That's been pretty nice, but that'll change over the next couple of days. Lena, we've got a weather pattern change coming here to Northeast Ohio. There's a warm front coming in tonight, and if you remember, we just had a cold front about two days ago, so this was very short-lived. Warmer air is back in the forecast and also more muggy air too. That warm front will be swinging through tonight and as it does so, it'll be bringing some showers. You'll be waking up tomorrow with a couple of showers across the area and then by the afternoon, we may try to get a couple big peaks of sunshine and that'll help destabilize the atmosphere and maybe some more thunderstorms are likely throughout the afternoon tomorrow. And then as we progress forward after tomorrow, we're going to get in a pattern where we have several chances for these pop up thunderstorms in the afternoons, kind of like a lottery system. Some of us get them and some of us get them in a big way and then others not so much. So we'll be watching that the next several days, but here's our next system. See, there's a lot of moisture with this thing. You see several showers and thunderstorms towards our west. Uh, Kentucky and Indiana, they're getting it tonight, but these waves are going to come right towards northeast Ohio. So as you're waking up tomorrow morning, we'll get some of this action, although I think it will be a little bit lighter over time as it pushes into Ohio. They should weaken over time, but then we have a good chance for more pop-ups throughout the afternoon tomorrow. Right now, the clouds thick enough, though. We had a great sunset along the lakeshore. But then farther south, we still had a lot of clouds. The closest raindrops are still west of us, closer towards uh, Lima and, and to the north towards Toledo, Dayton getting some of the rain as well. But right now here at home, we're dry at the moment. As you progress later into the overnight hours, we'll probably pick up some of that rain. Right now, temperatures are in the upper 60s and a couple of 70s. Still trying to hold on 72 in downtown and in Akron, but otherwise most of us are in the 60s now. Tomorrow, we're going to try to warm up as best we can, kind of close to today. Uh, but upper 70s will be in the forecast. If we didn't have the rain, that warm front really should have zipped up into the 80s. But with the rain that's coming our way, it's going to be hard for us to get out of the 70s. But we'll be watching that throughout the afternoon tomorrow. Here's your weekend rain timeline. So as we go into Sunday, as you're waking up tomorrow morning, maybe you're trying to get uh, breakfast with your family, you headed to service. There's still going to be some scattered showers out there. And then notice how the rain chances actually increase throughout the afternoon. By the afternoon, we have the better chance for getting more of those thunderstorms. There is a level one severe threat for tomorrow. We're basically looking at for some of these cells, they might have some gusty winds and maybe a few pockets of some small hail, but otherwise a lot of it's going to be just downpours and some lightning at times. So when we're looking at the National Zymar hour by hour forecast, we'll go ahead and walk you through it. This is nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Notice how the rain starts to spread on in. And then once it moves in, we're kind of in that pattern for the rest of the day. Notice into the afternoon, we have better chances for some thunderstorms. And at times, there's going to be good downpours. So be on the lookout for that. And then more waves as we go into the rest of this week. But just talking about tomorrow specifically, it really depends on where some of these cells set up. But a lot of us may be trying to pick up an inch or so of rain tomorrow. This, there's going to be some good downpours in the afternoon. Here's your muggy meter too. Once that warm front comes through with that rain, we're going to stay humid for the next several days and that gives us the chance for more showers and more thunderstorms, Lena. When you're looking at the Union Home Mortgage 10 day outlook, we do get warmer over time, but then we have several chances for those pop up thunderstorms. I think the two days that you need to watch out the most will be tomorrow. And then also when you look towards Friday in between every other day, it's not gonna be a washout, but we'll still have some of those isolated downpours and we'll watch that closely. All right. And like you said earlier, you're mowing your lawn I today. I did. You needed to. The weatherman knows. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, Matt.